Number eight, I want to find the derivative. Well, to find the derivative, the first thing you want to do is rewrite this as a negative power. Then once you have that as a negative power, the way you do the derivative, this is the power rule. You just take this. This is y prime, the derivative. You take the negative eight, put it in front, and you drop the power by one. So when you subtract one from negative eight, you actually get negative nine. And we don't like our answers to have negative powers. So it's going to be negative eight, negative powers drop back to the bottom to be ninth power. That is the derivative. Meaning, if you plug in any number to this, it will tell you the slope at that point of the previous graph. Okay. 28, if I want to find the derivative of this, the first thing you need to do for this one is to change this, leave the pi, and you need to square 3x, which would be 9x squared. From there, I also want to change something. I want to change this to be pi over 9, but I want to change this and move this up top. So it's now going to be x to the negative second. Now I can derive it. So y prime is equal to pi over 9. The negative 2 jumps in front. I subtract 1 from that, so it becomes negative 3. That is my derivative but I can still simplify that. So y prime, multiply this by negative two, looks like we've got negative two over nine, and this negative power drops to the bottom, x to the third. That would be the answer. Now, and I forgot the pi, thank you. So the pi is right here, correct? Thank you, I will forget those things sometimes. That pi cannot be lost. We don't wanna lose our pi good tasting. Now, for this one, I don't have a method as of now to derive this. There is something in the future called a product rule. We have a product of two things. But what you do for this one is you simply distribute. It actually becomes a simple equation. This times this gives you 18x squared. This times this gives you negative 15 oops, x squared. This gives you negative 15x to the third. And that right there is a very simple problem. Once you distribute, you derive it. So this 2 comes in front, so 18 times 2 is 36. Subtract 1 from 2, it's just x, or x to the first. 15, or sorry, negative 15 times 3 is negative 45. And subtract 1 from that, it's squared. We're done. That's the derivative. It's as simple as bringing the powers in front, multiplying it by the front number and then subtracting one from the power.